need to basically add some Apollo middleware, essentially. Um, so the way there's there's like different ways you could accomplish that. What I was doing yesterday was creating like a wrapper basically for Apollo um, and basically moving like our client creation and everything. We could probably get away with, well, no, the reason we have to do that is because we need to get, we need the, the auth zero hook and we can't access that in just like index.js. We need to define a function, whether we do it or like a functional component, whether we do that here or in a separate file. So I'm going to go ahead and just create Apollo wrapper dot JS. Love it. And we're going to move the Apollo client import. We're going to move the Apollo client definition. Boom. Because what we want to do is we're going to stick all of this into a component and Got call it. it Apollo wrapper with the children and move that inside of there. Export default Apollo wrapper. I'm digging it. Yes. We're getting so close so, to, by the way. This is like. I, oh, yeah, we're, we're almost done. I mean. I know. I'm rubbing my fingers. Rubbing my hands. Yeah, we're almost Play done here. So, so this is cool because what we can do is we can uh, import use auth zero from our auth util. Uh, utils slash auth. And we can grab our um, is authenticated, and we can also grab so cool. the function to go get the token. Right. So there's a there's a way. Auth, so Auth zero has this get token silently. Will basic which will basically check if the user is authenticated, and if so, just return the token behind the scenes without the user having to do anything. And if they're not, then it'll like force them into the the login process. Interesting. Um, yeah. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to we're going to create a little piece of state here called bearer token and set bearer token because we want to that's the token we're to going to get back right from right right we're going to get that back from from auth zero because um, we're going to we're going to create an effect and. Uh, and again, we're going to need to, this is all going to be asynchronous. So we're going to create right. a little async function here for, for getting the token and say, Hey, define the token. If we're authenticated, then go ahead and go get the token, get, yeah. get token silently. Otherwise just return an empty string and then we'll set the bearer token to that token. Uh, so then we can call get token and we're, we're going to tell react that we're, we only want this to happen if get token silently changes oh. or if is authenticated changes. Got it. Uh, cool. Now we can do the Apollo side of things. So we're going to, we're going to split this up um because we want to add some some middleware here basically so and so gonna, when, you, when you say middleware we're going to essentially create our own custom link right is that correct yes yes yeah. exactly because okay. what we want to happen is we want to if we have a token then we want to add that authorization header to our outgoing request got it so okay. i'm going to uh pull out the like just the basic link i can say const http link and then just move this mm -hmm. over there okay and then we're gonna we're gonna define this link um so 
Apollo, and of course you can talk more about this, but Apollo has this this uh, ability to create your own, like set your own context. So there's there's the uh, Apollo link context package, mm -hmm. and you can pull you can use this function called set context, which is going to let us like tap into the headers. So yeah. we can say const auth link equals set context and that's going to give us uh what's the first thing there is that the the parent uh, context setter uh oh, i can't remember for set context i would have to go to the docs to look um right but yeah but what it will let us do is get the request so i think i assume that the second one is the request if you can pull the headers yes. off of it and then we can say, hey, if there's not a bearer token, then just return the headers. Although we probably need to return a bunch yeah. of other stuff too, right? We probably need to re re do the same thing where we do. So X Diamond like GMR had a question real quick, which I think we covered. Yeah. But just to reiterate again, he's asking what get token silently is doing. So let me see if I can if I can remember this. Whereas yeah, if you idea. try to query for the token not with the the silently function there's another way right to get fetch the token no yeah so um so get token silently is the way that you get the token from the spa sdk like oh, so for, oh, instead right. of instead of forcing the, the login path part, yeah yeah so the silently part is so that you don't have to bother the user if they're already signed in like there's the silently means just just go get the token. Like if the user's already logged in, don't have them they have do it all behind the scenes basically. Right. Uh, so that's that's why it's called that. And in in this example, um, yeah, the silently is not really that relevant. But what we're doing is basically like instead of like the SDK handles the storage of the token and the like lifetime, like the life cycle Got of it. the token like that way like so if you weren't using auth zero you'd go you would pull the token from wherever you're storing it 